Hi, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater named Ernie. Ernie uh, brings up a good question, actually. It's pretty rare, but it does happen, and it's kind of freaky. Uh, Jeff, the other day I docked and turned the key off, but the engine was, the engine was still running. Wow, engine key off, engine still running. A little freaky. I physically removed the key from the ignition, and again, the engine was still running. I could smell burning and later found out it was the solenoid. Can you explain why the engine was still running? Great question. Um, and I have to say one of the pleasures of being a marine electrician is knowing how to hot rod a car now in case of a zombie apocalypse. Um, and it's kind of neat. So the reality is that engines um, start really are not that complicated and I, now I understand how all these movies people are, can hot rod and steal a car without the keys. So effectively when you're actually running an engine, especially for diesel engines, um, when you actually are turning the ignition key on, what you're doing is you're just sending a signal down to the starter solenoid, so this device that is on your engine, and that device basically connects your battery to the starter. So our batteries are effectively not really connected to the starter themselves, they're connected to the starter solenoid. And when we engage the ignition key, either a momentary on or a momentary on with a key, suddenly we're sending a 12 volt signal or 24 depending on the engine or 32 again, but we're sending a signal down to the engine to say, hey, by the way, I want you to start. Once the engine is started on a diesel engine, uh, unless your engine is really far from a fuel tank and you absolutely need to have a fuel pump running. And in my case, on my boat, I don't. I've actually had my boat running for five minutes without the engine panel being energized. So no fuel pump is running, but yet my engine is running without electricity. So that's kind of freaky, right? Um, the reality is that a diesel engine doesn't need electricity to run unless the fuel pump is really required to get fuel to the engine. The other thing too is that a diesel engine um, get stopped by simply stopping the air supply to the engine. So you can either do manually, like on my boat I have literally a cable and that cable actually uh, disconnect, not disconnects, but it actually, it's a big word, asphyxiates. I can't say it, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and it basically shuts off the air supply to the engine and that's how a diesel engine stops. More modern engines actually have a solenoid. They have actually, a, you press a button uh, to either shut off the engine or you turn the engine key off and when you do that it actually instead of it does it automatically for for you it disconnects the engine from an air supply so it is possible that you turn off the ignition key off remove the key and if that solenoid uh, that is supposed to stop your engine is burning up or can't be deactivated it is very possible for the engine to be running even with the ignition key off there's nothing really to do about it other than to know, and this is the key, know where is that point on the engine where you can manually kill the engine from its air supply. And that's a good way to shut off your engine. And that's what I would recommend. So that's a great question. Tough question, but great question. Thanks for asking, Ernie. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate the feedback and keep the questions coming. We've selected another video for you, so keep watching, and don't forget, please subscribe.